working on a 2002 Mitsubishi Eclipse with the 3.0 V6 and what we're testing today is a purge solenoid now it lives right here on this bracket and connects to these two inlet tubes right here these two vacuum lines and we're going to test it to see how it's functioning or not functioning so the first thing to figure out is when is it energized or not so the purge solenoid when it's on, when it's energized, is open, so it's normally closed. So the very first thing you could do is just simply figure out is there air coming through this or not. And the easiest way to do that is just to blow through it and see what happens. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to blow through this side and see what comes out of this side. not sure exactly what that looked like so we'll see but I was blowing through here and there was a lot of air coming out of here so let's go the opposite way too a little bit but it's still coming through so that's supposed to be closed so there shouldn't be any air coming through here um, so the next test we can do is just simply test the ohms and see how it ohms out so it says it should ohm out between 30 and 34 ohms at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's like 80 or something. So set your ohm meter to 200 ohms. And you got your black and reds. I'm just going to put it on either one of the terminals. It doesn't really matter. So it's within the ohm spec but the mechanical part of it has failed. So there's another way we can test that. If you've got a vacuum pump, you can do the same thing that we were doing a while ago of blowing, um, but this is gonna create a vacuum on it. So attach it up there and see if it'll hold anything. And then I'm gonna put my thumb on the bottom side. It does a little bit and it releases. So nothing holding there. So the last check I'll do on this is let's put some power to it and see mechanically if you can hear the solenoid jumping up and down. So I've got a positive lead going to the right side, a negative to the left, and it, again it doesn't matter. And then we're just going to tap the negative and listen. As I click this, this internal solenoid should be going up and down, allowing that diaphragm to open and close, and it's doing nothing. So we've got a complete mechanical failure on this one, so it needs to be replaced. Anyway, now we know it's bad, so get another one. Hope it helped you out. Thanks. Got the new one today, so let's go ahead and just do some testing compared to the old one and see how everything is. So I got it from Import Direct from O'Reilly. It's the only place I could get it anywhere locally. Uh, if you notice, they do look a little different. Uh, how the nipples come out is different and the height. A little different, but the connections are the same. And on the sides and back, I mean, the fitment is the same. So let's just test from here and see what it looks like. First things first, let's just check. Uh, it's opened when it's powered, which means in an unpowered state, it's closed. So let's check for this to be closed uh, by either blowing or sucking through on these just without uh, giving power to it. So I've got a hose hooked to it and I'm gonna use this instead of putting my mouth in the camera and pull on it, blow, nothing. Move it to the top side, same thing, pull, blow, nothing. So that's a good first step in comparison to the old one, which you could pull through both sides uh, without power on it. So let's check the ohms. Again, I'm just going to put them right here and see what the numbers are. Between 30 and 34 is what the spec said it should be in. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the next step. Let's put our vacuum gauge on it. This way we can just see the vac that it does in fact hold vacuum. Ok, 
Okay. Video the top side. Holding well. Okay, so I've got the terminals hooked up, and I'm just going to touch uh, negative to the battery. I'm listening for the click. You can hear it audibly clicking. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the hold the negative on there, so it should be open, and see if we pull a vacuum or if it's opening up. Nope, it's opened up. And we'll try the other side. So it's open. Alright, so this one clearly works the way it's supposed to, unlike the other one. So, just put it on the car. So I hope that helped you out, the before and after of the good one versus the bad one. And uh, get you fixed up.